Richard here from BudgetGuitarist.com. <sighs> See what I got to work with? That is the dumbest intro I've ever seen. Let me try. Hi, this is a dumb intro. Thanks for dropping by to check out this video. I recently purchased an HX Stomp pedal and I've had it for about a week now and I've spent a bunch of time trying to dial in some sounds. And the very first thing I decided to do was to dial in my Strat sounds. So really there's about three key Strat sounds that, that I like to use when I'm doing gigs, whether I'm doing covers or I'm doing my own music. And the first sound is the sound of a big open uh, Fender Twin reverb. So something that just has a ton of headroom where no matter how hard I hit the guitar, actually the strings, not, not the guitar, I don't hit the guitar. No matter how hard I hit the strings, it's not gonna distort on me. It's just gonna be a big, huge sound. When I think of a clean Fender Strat, big, huge sound, only one amp comes to mind, and that is the Twin Reverb. The second one is an AC-15. It could be an AC-15 or an AC-30, but there's something about the chime of the AC that works really well with the Strat, especially with a good compressor in front of it, kind of pushing the front of the, the uh, preamp on the AC. Not enough for a whole lot of distortion, but just enough to make it a little bit nasty. And then finally, I like a Strat sound that is compressed and a little bit more distorted. You can think of an over-aggressive Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of sound. And that's the sound that I've, I've used a lot in my own recordings. My whole second album called Never Completely was, was really based on that Strat sound. It's something that I just love. So... Instead of going through and tweaking each parameter and, and boring you with that, what I thought I'd do is just walk you through my settings in HX Stomp and kind of explain what I'm using and why I'm using it, and then give you an example of the guitar with some music, so some backing tracks. And I just thought that that might be a little more interesting. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, here we go. Strat tone number one, Strat twin. So what we have here is a big, clean Fender twin amplifier. This is the sound I think of when I think of a big, huge Fender sound, traditional Fender Strat sound. The Fender twin is an amazingly huge sounding amp, and it can fill up just about any room. And the model of the Fender twin is actually pretty good. But let's go through the signal chain. So we're starting off here. We've got a noise gate turned on. Then we go straight to the deluxe compressor. We have a ratio of six to one. So we're giving it a good amount of compression, but we're not crushing it, okay? Next we go to a modulation pedal, which is currently not turned on. That's something in this patch that if I wanna turn it on, I can turn it on. So it's in the chain, but deactivated. Next, we go to the amplifier, and this is a Fender Twin Reverb. And you can see my settings here. I've got the drive about halfway, bass, track, nothing too crazy here. I've got the presence kind of down. I feel like there's enough mid-range. You can see my settings. From there, we're going to an IR file, which is, this is basically a Celestian Vintage 30 inside of a Friedman 4x12 cabinet. And this was recorded with multiple microphones. I can tell because it says full. So they had a couple of room mics plus a, a close mic. And then finally, at the very end, we've got our reverb. And in this case, we're using Legacy Verb, which is the 63 spring. And this is designed to sound like a, a spring reverb, just like the Fender Twin actually has. So big open sound, very appropriate when I want a real lot of headroom and a really clean sound. Look 
at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. You ever chase a crackhead down a dark alley? Well, I have. Let me tell ya. Never mind. Okay, so here's sound number two. Here is my AC-15 sound. So we're starting out, we don't have a noise gate on, don't need it for this patch. We go back into compressor. This time though, I'm using the MXR Dynacomp. I've got the sensitivity on 7.1. The mix is at 100% here. So I'm, I'm crushing it kind of quite a bit here. This is, this is definitely an active compressor. And what I'm trying for is, is kind of a, what the MXR Dynacomp is famous for, a really, really crunched, crushed uh, compressor. Say that five times fast, or don't. For the amp, I'm using the Vox AC15 model. I don't have a lot of drive on this. This is turned up to three or 3.1. And I don't need a lot of drive because I'm I'm kind of compressing compressing it a lot and distorting the preamp just a little bit. So here's my settings here. Then we go to the IR, and in this case we've got the uh, the Vintage 30 in the Friedman cabinet again, but this is just mic'd up close with a SM57. Then at the very end of the chain, we've got a Legacy Line 6 Hall reverb. And I've got the decay set to 3.5, and you can see the rest of my settings. For the third sound, we've got kind of a crunch sound. And so what I was shooting for here was an amp being pushed really, really hard. This is sort of my favorite kind of Strat sound. So this is similar to the sound that I use all the time. I used it all over my second album, never completely. Uh, I used it on the song Rained On on my, my last CD. It's kind of reminiscent of, of sort of Stevie Ray Vaughan-ish, and it's one of my favorite sounds. It's one of my favorite guitar sounds. It's one of my favorite Strat sounds. So let's go through it. We are starting out with the noise gate on because it can be a little noisy. Next, we're going to the compressor. And again, we've got a 6.1 ratio here. So we're not crushing it, but we're definitely compressing it. Then here, we're going into a Klon Centaur. Centaur. But we are... Uh, actually, it's pronounced Centaur. But we are, we don't actually have that turned on. So I've got that pedal in the chain. If I want to, I can turn it on to do like a solo or whatnot. And then for the amp, my favorite amp in this entire pedal, which is the Marshall Super Lead 100. It really does sound like a Marshall Super Lead 100. It really does. It sounds really good. So I've got the drive set to 2.5, but I'm pushing the input really really hard with the uh with the compressor so kind of like the same thing as the last patch and then for our ir file for our cabinet once again we have got the uh friedman 4x12 with the celestian vintage 30 if you're sensing a pattern i own this speaker in real life 
not the Friedman version, but the, the Vintage 30, and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite speaker of all time, basically. Then at the end, we've got your typical reverb. This is the Plate Legacy Line 6 reverb, which I happen to like the sound of. 